Well, an arms dealer is off the streets of New York following an FBI sting that implicated Orthodox Jewish leader Alex Lichtenstein. He bragged that he paid crooked cops in New York, uh, affiliated with the NYPD, nearly a million dollars in bribes to fast-track pistol permits for 150 members of his own community. Five NYPD officers have been implicated so far. The mayor of New York City thinks that this might go even further. Here's what he had to say about the facts of this criminal complaint. He says, I believe that anyone who does something wrong should suffer the consequences as some of our police individual chiefs are doing at this point. Now, mm. this is going higher than these peon officers. I want to take you to two of these officers that have been mm. implicated in the scandal. The first one, Officer Richard Ochtal. Now, he admitted that he knew Lichtenstein and that he had processed permit applications for him. Bad decision. The second one, David Villanova. Now, Villanova, he was spotted sitting regularly near the desk of the supervisor at the permit office, the licensing and permit office. He admitted to knowing that Lichtenstein charged customers 18000 per gun license, but said that Lichtenstein was banned. So it's unclear what uh, role Villanova has played in this, this at this point, if any, but he's certainly um, not a stranger to this, to this scandal. Now, this investigation, it's resulted in the removal of five of these officers. They think that it goes higher up, even possibly to uh, Bill de Blasio's own 2013 wow. political campaign. Um, Two affiliates of Liechtenstein, uh, one of them contributed to that campaign, and the other raised money for a nonprofit that supported de Blasio's agenda. Okay, see that part, all that corruption right there that mm -hmm. we, you just talked about, that's not even the most surprising part to me. What's, what's interesting about this story, and why I, I'm interested in this story is, I mean, just look at these guys. They're like these Orthodox Jewish guys who are walking around like, hey, I'm walking here, you know? <laughs> and they're like these mafioso guys, the last people you'd ever expect, right? Because they're posing as these very uh, fundamentalist, Orthodox Jewish, conservative good people. But at the same time, he's, he's paying off cops for guns. He's an arms dealer. I mean, at the same time, though, even with all that being said, the yarmulke is not the most intimate. They're not that scary, just looking at them. Hmm. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think that these guys are mafia. What did they need guns for? Was this just Speaking protection? Of, I mean, did they did they have legal permit? Was it all legal except they, for like the fast track paying some money under the table? Part? I mean, how hard is it to get your hands on a on a gun permit? You just go through yeah, the steps, exactly. fill out the paperwork, and you know, wait. I, I don't really the fast tracking of these permits. Um, and it looks like Lichtenstein was actually selling the permits once he was he was getting them um, charged with his char charging his customers eighteen thousand per gun license. That's what he was doing. Um, 6000 per license application he was offering to pay cops. Also, throwing them 100 bucks every now and then, uh, something he called lunch money. The mafia. The mafia. <laughs> the mafioso aspect of this. Uh, the criminal complaint filed in Manhattan court. Um, Lichtenstein is out on bail, and this case still unfolding. I have a feeling it's going to implicate a lot of um, city uh, officials going forward in this in this ever an unfolding um, corruption probe involving New York City police officers.